This is the door of no return. And originally, the door was narrow, which was built for one African at a time. So they fall them through one after the other, no ticking But it was expanded into this during colonial time. We happen to go to Elmina Castle. You go there. You see the original one. This is not the original. And there's a staircase at the other side, which was used by the British. So we are going and see how it is. and down, just for British. And if you look at this place, you can see somebody in an orange shirt, just in front of the person. There's something like a wall which is broken out there. That wall was built from this part of the castle by the British. They built it long into the sea. The wall was built as a boundary to separate British from the local people. The locals who were here were at the back of that wall. So this whole place, was called the White Man's Beach or Abrofumpuano. But now the war is broken. So the local people are in control. You can see the official name. And if you go through this door of no return as a black person. Now let's turn this way. Respect dignity and everything. And from here, most of the captives were taken to North America. Some went to Liverpool, England. Some to Bristol, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, including Jamaica. But those taken to Brazil, Brazilians passed through Elmina Castle, through the hands of the Portuguese, because Brazil was a Portuguese colony. Some of the Brazilians were taken from Angola, East Africa, but <coughs> Angola. But Suriname, Haiti, Dutch Guyana, Curaçao, most of those places, those taking the path through Elmina Castle, through the hands of the Dutch people. And Brazil received the largest number of enslaved Africans. Brazil got 47% of the entire slaves from Africa. And Brazil is the second largest black population in the whole world, second to Nigeria. Yes, because Brazil is a single country. The Africans were taken to continuously for 155 years by Portuguese without a break. 155 years continuously without a break. When Africans were crossing the Atlantic Ocean in the Mother Passage, the treatment given to them was even worse. They tied their hands and legs in chains. They arranged them on deck. They arranged them head to toe. Toe to head. Somebody over here. Somebody here, somebody here. So, for instance, there are about five on a row. If you are the very bottom, those are the top. If they urinate, it will come to you. They go to the toilet, the same thing. So, if you are the very bottom, you are spending eight weeks to Brazil or North America. Just imagine how many drops of urine you get to you. So, if you are the very bottom, you have to come to a certain death. So, died with taken from the ship, thrown into the sea. To make the weight lighter. So by the time they got there, it's about half, sometimes about half of the year. Lost the light. And when we were coming, we saw the door of no return. But see, going in the hand of a door of return. This is symbolic. It came August 1998. There was a ceremony in Ghana called Emancipation 98. After Emancipation 98, there was another program called Great Homecoming. During that time, skeletons of two enslaved Africans, in the person of Samakas and Madame Krista, were resumed and brought from New York and Jamaica. They brought the remains to Accra, Accra to where we are now. The skeletons of the two were put in two caskets. The door was open, we were taken through to graduate the gifts for short African from Rasaruma. From there, the remains of the two Africans were taken to a nearby town called Asin Mansu. That is where I told you, when they were getting closer to the castle, the Africans had a stopover. They would bath on their own. They would eat. They would give
give them food. They will do a man of operations. They will stay there for sometimes a week or two, even three. When they arrive in the castle, they were not given a chance to bath on their own before they were taken. The remains that were brought were taken to that place for rebury. So as the remains of the two Africans came, now with us on our soil buried, that is why we are reading the door, the door of the ten. It means out of the millions taken away by the Europeans, we also brought two. That's the of us. That is telling us that at least once in our lifetime, especially Africans, we should come back to Ghana and go through the door of the ten. That is exactly what you people have done today. So I am so, so proud of you. And this note, after your photos, we are going to return. But we have not ended the tour yet. We are only returning. Good.